we have prepared not just a challenge for you, but a true cosmic adventure. Today, you will travel to different planets of the solar system and try running on their surfaces. Let's find out where you can run the fastest and where you can barely walk. Let's start with the fact that the fastest man on Earth, Usain Bolt, can run at an average speed of about 38 kilometers per hour, and his top speed exceeds 43 kilometers per hour. However, not everyone can run like him. The average person runs at a speed of 10 to 13 kilometers per hour. But what if there is a planet in the solar system where you can easily break the records of the famous Jamaican sprinter? First of all, let's figure out what will affect running speed on other planets. Primarily, it's gravity, which directly affects your weight. The heavier you are, the slower you run. On all planets of the solar system, except Earth, you will have to wear a bulky spacesuit without which you simply cannot survive. Don't forget about extreme weather conditions. On most planets, it's either very cold, very hot, or very windy. So, your incredible journey is about to begin. Fasten your seatbelt. The first planet on your route is Mercury. Through the porthole of the spaceship, it looks like our old familiar moon. But in just a few moments, you will realize that this is an illusion. Mercury's surface is covered with craters from cosmic impacts, making running quite difficult. The temperature here reaches extreme 427 degrees Celsius during the day and drops to minus 179 degrees at night. However, gravity on Mercury is about 38% of Earth's, so despite the bulky spacesuit, you will be able to move faster than on Earth, possibly reaching speeds of up to 21 kilometers per hour. The next planet on your list is Venus, also known as the Morning Star. This world is very different from Earth. Before landing, your spaceship will pass through a super-dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide, and clouds of sulfuric acid will give it a sinister appearance. On Venus, you will weigh almost the same as on Earth due to the similar size and density of the planets. However, due to the spacesuit, you will be able to run slightly faster than on Earth, at around 14 kilometers per hour. Mars, the next stop, features a cold climate with an average temperature of about minus 60 to degrees Celsius. Mars' surface is covered with rusty colored dust and fine particles flying in the air. Here, you will weigh approximately 26 kilograms, allowing you to run at speeds of up to 19 kilometers per hour. However, be cautious, dust storms sometimes engulf the entire planet and can make movement significantly more difficult. Jupiter and Saturn are gas giants with no solid surface, so running on them is impossible. However, if Jupiter had a solid surface, it would be quite a struggle. Your weight would be 177 kilograms, and your running speed would not exceed 1.5 to 3 kilometers per hour. Conditions on Saturn are slightly better. Your weight would remain almost the same as on Earth, but you could run in a spacesuit at about 6 kilometers per hour. Before leaving Saturn, enjoy its stunning rings and numerous moons. On Uranus, an ice giant, your weight would be 60 to kilograms, and you could run at speeds of up to 13 kilometers per hour. However, be cautious, hurricanes often occur here in the summer. Neptune, the most distant planet in the solar system, also lacks a solid surface. However, if you could run on its clouds, you would weigh 79 kilograms and run at about 8 kilometers per hour. The next planet we will visit is Neptune. As we mentioned before, Neptune is an ice giant and its blue surface is actually a layer of gas and clouds. The planet's mantle is composed of water, ammonia, and methane ices, creating the illusion of a solid surface. Your weight on Neptune will be slightly more than on Earth about 79 kilograms sand. You will be able to run at a speed of about 8 kilometers per hour. However, the strong winds, reaching speeds of up to 2,000 kilometers per hour, can significantly complicate your run. But what if we venture beyond the known planets? For example, let's imagine we are on Pluto, the dwarf planet that was once considered the ninth planet of the solar system. On Pluto, it is extremely cold. The average temperature is around minus 129 degrees Celsius. Gravity on Pluto is only 6% of Earth's gravity, so your weight here will be about 4 kilograms. This means you can literally hop and run across the surface like a cosmic kangaroo. However, 
Due to the low temperature and thin atmosphere, running here would be very challenging. Now let's take a look at one of the most interesting moons in the solar system Titan, the moon of Saturn. Titan is the only moon that has a dense atmosphere and liquid lakes on its surface. Titan's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen and its surface is covered with methane and ethane lakes and rivers. On Titan, you would weigh about 8 kilograms. The gravity here is 7 times less than on Earth, so you would be able to jump high and far. The surface temperature on Titan is around minus 179 degrees Celsius, so your spacesuit will be necessary. Despite the challenges, running on Titan could be a unique experience due to the low gravity and dense atmosphere. We will continue our journey to Jupiter's largest moon Ganymede. This icy world is larger than Mercury and has its own magnetic field. Ganymede is covered in ice and an ocean may be hidden beneath its surface. Gravity on Ganymede is about 14% of Earth's gravity, so your weight would be about 10 kilograms. Running on the icy surface would be difficult, but thanks to the low gravity, you would be able to move quite quickly, possibly reaching speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour. After visiting Ganymede, let's head to Callisto, another large moon of Jupiter. Callisto differs from Ganymede with its ancient, crater-filled surface resembling a lunar landscape. The average temperature on Callisto's surface is around minus 139 degrees Celsius and you'll need a warm spacesuit to move around. Gravity on Callisto is about 12% of Earth's gravity, so your weight will be about 8.4 kilograms. This will allow you to move easily and quickly, but be careful with the uneven surface to avoid tripping over numerous craters. Now, let's travel to Europa, Jupiter's moon covered with a smooth layer of ice. Beneath the ice, there may be a vast ocean, making Europa one of the most intriguing places to explore. Gravity on Europa is about 13% of Earth's gravity, so your weight will be around 9.1 kilograms. The icy surface might be slippery, but in low gravity, you'll be able to jump and run easily, reaching speeds of up to 15 kilometers per hour. The temperature on Europa's surface is around minus 160 degrees Celsius, so your spacesuit will be necessary to protect you from the cold. Next stop is Enceladus, Saturn's icy moon known for its geysers that spew water and ice from beneath the surface. These geysers create a spectacular view, and like Europa, there might be an ocean beneath Enceladus' surface. Gravity on Enceladus is around 1.1% of Earth's gravity, so your weight will be only about 0.77 kilograms. You will be able to jump incredibly high and far, almost like on a trampoline. However, the temperature here is also very low around minus 198 degrees Celsius, so your spacesuit will be essential to protect you from the extreme cold. Let's now head to Neptune's distant moon, Triton. This mysterious moon has an unusual orbit and volcanoes that erupt nitrogen ice. Gravity on Triton is about 8% of Earth's gravity, so your weight will be around 5.6 kilograms. Running here will be easy due to the low gravity, and you'll be able to reach speeds of up to 18 kilometers per hour. However, the temperature on Triton is around minus 135 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest spots in the solar system. Finally, let's imagine traveling beyond our solar system to visit exoplanets orbiting other stars. For example, super-Earths, which have a greater mass and radius than Earth. On such planets, gravity could be significantly higher, and your weight might double or triple. This would make running very difficult, and you'd have to adapt to new conditions. However, imagine how thrilling it would be to explore entirely new worlds with their unique landscapes and ecosystems. Our cosmic journey shows how diverse and fascinating celestial bodies are in our and other star systems. Each planet and moon offers unique conditions for exploration and opens new possibilities for humanity. Who knows, maybe in the future, you'll become a pioneer and experience all these amazing adventures yourself. This journey through the solar system is truly breathtaking. Imagine what it would be like to run on the surface of another planet, experience different gravitational forces, traverse exotic landscapes, and feel like a pioneer in uncharted worlds. It opens new horizons, not only for science, but also for our imagination.
What impressed me most about this imaginary journey? First, it's the diversity of conditions on different planets and moons. Each celestial body is unique, Mercury with its extreme temperature contrasts, ice giants like Uranus and Neptune, and the mysterious moons of Jupiter and Saturn, full of hidden secrets. Secondly, I am amazed at how much gravity affects our mobility. While we are used to certain speeds and efforts on Earth, it can be completely different on other planets. Do you think humanity will ever run on other planets as freely as we run on Earth? What technologies and discoveries are necessary to make such cosmic runs a reality? Which planet or moon do you find most appealing for exploration and why? How would your perception of running and physical activity change if you could try it in low or high gravity conditions? Think about what you would feel standing on another planet and how it would change your perspective of our own planet. Maybe you will be one of those who ventures to explore distant worlds and open new horizons for humanity. If you enjoyed our cosmic journey and want to learn more about science, space, and amazing adventures, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There is much more interesting and exciting content waiting for you.